Hello, please meet Gary Aguinaga, Harvest Power's Vice President of Energy. He's going to share information about Harvest Energy Garden just down the road here in Florida. This anaerobic digester was designed to simultaneously address four challenges. First, to recover energy and nutrients from food waste. Second, to control odors. Third, to beneficially process biosolids. And fourth, to improve the fertilizer and product quality. It's located in the Reedy Creek Improvement District, servicing area theme parks, hotels, and restaurants. It opened in 2013 and celebrated its grand opening with the community in 2014. We've climbed a learning curve over the years. First, we found that our inbound food waste was often too liquid to effectively feed into our turbo separator for depackaging and processing. Our clamshell crane can successfully lift the wet material out of the receiving pit, but the liquid fraction of the waste will not travel up the inclined augers that feed the turbo separator. Instead, it flows back into the pit. This limitation on our ability to transfer liquids severely restricted food processing rates. The solution to this challenge was the installation of a peristolic pump to move the collected liquid directly into the turbo separator housing, bypassing the augers. Second, the machinery and pipeline conveying processed food waste slurry from the turbo separator to the digesters plugged frequently during the first months of operation. An aggressive customer education campaign, installation of clean-out ports at strategic locations, and development of improved operating procedures have substantially reduced the incidence of pluggage. Third, while CAT has been excellent as a financer, the gensets needed a lot of attention during the first year or so to reliably generate power at full capacity. Biogas-fueled engines are inherently more difficult to tune and operate than those running on conventional diesel fuel, but a significant percentage of the early problems were unrelated to biogas. While the engines are still not problem-free, today their reliability has greatly improved. Fourth, a phosphate fertilizer, or struvite, extraction system supplied with the facility didn't really work. As it turns out, a wastewater stream, which is one of the sources of the struvite, was much lower in phosphate than projected during the project's design phase. Economics didn't justify continued operation of the system, so we abandoned struvite extraction. Unfortunately, unwanted struvite continually deposits in the facility's wastewater treatment piping and equipment and, without an aggressive cleaning and maintenance program, can seriously impede operation. The biggest technical hurdle we have faced is preventing damage to our food waste processing equipment from contaminants. Tramp steel, excessive packaging, and windable material like bed sheets that can enter undetected with bulk waste deliveries have extracted a major toll in maintenance costs and lost receipts. A striking example of this is the requirement to replace the rotor in our turbo separator after less than three years of operation. Our greatest commercial challenge is managing operating costs and revenue streams so that project economics provide a reasonable return on investment. Wrapping up, we appreciate ABC's ongoing advocacy for biogas policies and projects through awards, networking, and collaboration.